Hi, I'm Adam, the project lead. Uh, this week I've been working on implementing a number of puzzles and also doing some texture work as well as uh, being able to get all the items produced by these guys and shoving them all together into one nice what? playable mess. <laughs> cool. So the development of the game is progressing really well. We've managed to implement the majority of the core gameplay features such as the ability to uh, grab items on screen and uh, throw them around. Um, we've also uh, new enough implemented the, uh, the drawing facility. Hey, I'm Owen, if you remember me, I'm the artist guy. I've been doing what that job entails, <laughs> which is uh, doing some more modelling and texturing and trying to figure out Blender. Um, yeah. This is Eve. I'm suffering the effects of early morning. I haven't had an energy drink yet. Um, this week uh, I've been working on the shape recognition thing, uh, trying to pick out a shape, a guess the shape from what the user has drawn. We were going to originally go with a shape being drawn and then it being turned into a 3D model, but the limitations of Blender um, regarding the physics engine has uh, not really allowed us to do that, so we've had to go with shape recognition instead and put a pre-made shape on the screen. It's Matt again, I'm programmer and composer. Uh, this week I've been implementing some of the larger set pieces for the first section and also been working on some music. Okay, this is one of the, uh, the puzzles that the player will see near the start of the game. Basically you have this big tree and uh, this grey block is supposed to be a door and you need to get past it. So what the player needs to do is grab these objects here and place them onto the hooks causes the branches to move up and down um, if you get the branches in a certain alignment the door will open so if I just uh, I'll just stick some on here um, if you can look closely <laughs> um, you'll, you'll see that one of the cogs is missing um, at the moment it's just lying here so we'll stick that in, and then we can use this punch as well. That's wrong. Well, yeah. Oh, maybe it's not. That's what you're thinking. Um. And there we are. Freedom. Okay. Freedom to jump off the air. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Graham, uh, mostly this week I've just been working on the more complex things like uh, waypoints, pickups, quicksand, uh, saving and object rotation. So our inspiration for this game were uh, physics sandbox applications such as uh, fun and crown physics but we really wanted to take the mechanics within these programs and bring them to a more game orientated format rather than just a sandbox experience. So throughout the development of the game we've had help from uh, numerous mentors and uh, they've been really useful for each of us. I know Owen's had some help with the visual styling of the game for some gu from some guys from Rare, and uh, Eve's been uh, having assistance with some of the programming elements. So yeah, they've been really great so far, and uh, hopefully they'll continue to assist us throughout the project.